Today we had the opportunity to fly, but we risk assessed it to not worth it. With a wind with 12 meters per second just a couple hundred meters above our head, we decided to use the day camping and hopefully get some ground handling done. So we're out, just waiting for the wind to settle. I touched down so we can do some ground handling, but I, I'm not sure if it's gonna happen. But we'll see, we'll see. My opinion, even if the condition appears to be good on takeoff, you should always take a look at the high altitude wind and calculate the risk. Sometimes it truly is better to be on the ground wishing you were in the air than opposite, being in the air wishing that you were on the ground. Yeah, we put up camp over there. Check out my video, how to predict high altitude winds. I'll leave it in the description. The wind is okay, but the gust is far too much for Christina. So I borrow her glider. It makes me good and heavy. I can spend hours and hours guiding the glider. And I encourage you to do the same. Try different pull-up techniques. Try the difference between bending your knees when you pull up, or keep your legs straight. And practice the kill switch for the glider. Tell me in the comments field, what is your favorite technique for killing the glider in strong conditions? Be aware of your surroundings. And always keep in mind what direction will you be dragged in, in case you are unlucky. Turbulent days are excellent for giving you a good glider control and you will benefit from it both on takeoff and in the air. Remember to like and share the video and I'm grateful for you subscribing the channel. Give me a comment or a question in the comments field. I think you're doing a quite a fine job. <laughs> Try and make some make some fire. Impressing impress Christina with my fire skills. <laughs> well, it was too strong for Christina to fly or to ground handle. But uh, I got to do a little bit. She got to pack. That that's good ex <laughs> good exercise as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a nice day, and we finish off with some campfire. 